its reach. My name is John Metcalf. I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. I've been a member for 45, well, 41 years, and um, I'm married. I've been married for almost 45 years, and uh, my wife and I have seven sons. And um, the gospel has been so impactful in our lives. It's absolutely amazing how it's changed our lives for the better. Um, after we had been married for four years, uh, my wife was out with our first son and uh, met up with the missionaries that, were, that had a booth. Um, and so they went and found that they were giving these balloons away and, and they weren't charging any money for them. And, and that was unbelievable to her. And so then they asked her if she wanted to learn how she could make her family better. And she said, sure. And she signed a piece of paper, gave them our address. Um, and then somewhere down the road, they came to our house. She, pulled, she told me about that, and I, I didn't want them to come because I was happy with our lives. Um, but I don't know why I was happy with our lives because I was not a good guy. I didn't do the right things. I didn't make the right decisions. I associated with a lot of people that were not good people. I, I, I did drugs. I sold drugs. Uh, I drank beer. Uh, and obviously, I told you I smoked cigarettes. And so I had a lot of friends that were like me, you know. I had customers that were friends that um, I had to uh, just disassociate myself from. And it was hard because they didn't want that. I kind of did want that because I knew that I was in a downward spiral. And so I told them I didn't know that I wanted even to quit smoking cigarettes. Uh, I didn't know if I could and I didn't know if I wanted to and they said you can do it uh, no no question you can do it and they challenged me to pray and ask Heavenly Father to help me and I promised them that I would do that and that is what really got me and I'll tell you just what happened so that night um, I, I was I knelt down beside my bed and I knew I could just feel that something was going to happen. And I, and I got this super strong impression that I was going to be responsible for what I learned. And it was so strong that it, I, I kind of backed off and I thought maybe I shouldn't do this right now because I didn't really want things to change. But I told, you know, I told myself, well, I promised them. so. I'm, I'm going to do this. And so I prayed and I asked Heavenly Father several things, but if He would help me, I would quit smoking and if what they were telling me was true. And it was so, it was such an unbelievable experience. It's one of those things you, you know, for me, I know exactly when I was converted and that was when I was converted, but it's so hard to tell other people how you feel about that because. It's a, it's a, it's more than just a warmth and a and a light and and all of that. But but it is all of that, and you just know that it's true. You know that it's true, and then you know that you have to do something about it. <laughs>